We're here now with Dr. Daryl Peel, OSU Extension Livestock Marketing Specialist. And Daryl, it seems like there's been some more cattle at auctions recently. Are we seeing an early fall run of calves? It does seem like it. Uh, you know, if you look at the volume in Oklahoma auctions uh, for the last several weeks, we're running 25 to 30 percent over a year ago. And a lot of those calves are coming in straight off the cow, unweaned calves. So I think uh, we are seeing something of an early fall run. Calves that normally would have been marketed a couple months from now are coming in now. So why are these calves being marketed earlier? Yeah, I think it has to all to do with the market prices. We've seen prices go up for these calves this summer, which is counter seasonal. And so producers are, are moving these calves early to take advantage of the market just in case it doesn't hold through the fall. So what does this mean for feeder cattle this fall? Well, you know, you only get to market these calves once, so we're changing the timing of them a little bit. I suspect what this means is that the, you know, the, we, we know feeder cattle supplies are tight. Uh, by moving these calves earlier, we're getting a few more of them now, but they won't be there later. So I would expect that we won't see the normal seasonal movements of cattle this fall and probably not the normal seasonal price pressure, especially on the calves that we would normally see in the fall. Yeah, and it seems like we are and are expecting to be getting some more rain. So that might mean more wheat pasture. What does that mean for markets? You know, we do have prospects for getting some wheat pasture in. Um, that's the first step, obviously. But when you look at the economics, you know, I think producers have to be, uh, you know, pretty careful to use a very sharp pencil to, uh, to figure out stalker prospects. Uh, you know, you can sell a, a calf right now for, you know, say 450 a pound or something like that. If you put another 250 pounds of gain on them in today's market, those pounds are worth less than half of that. So the market is basically not encouraging us to uh, devote a lot of resources to putting extra weight on cattle. So, you know, how are we gonna utilize that wheat pasture? I think every producer has to figure that out. Uh, maybe it's gonna be some heifer calves that we're finally starting to retain. Uh, maybe we're gonna use it to support the cows and calves uh, as part of that operation. And maybe stockers will work, but I think you'd have to pencil it out pretty carefully. Yeah, so what should producers be keeping in mind right now? Well, I think there's a lot of nervousness right now that this market is just too good to be true and it won't last. And yet the numbers all say that we're, we're still here. We're gonna be here for a while. The high, you know, these are not the highest prices that we're gonna see. Uh, and so we expect to go forward through the rest of this year and into next year with higher prices. So, uh, uh, you know, producers are, are gonna uh, have a lot to, to think about in terms of how to take advantage of this market. Yeah, all right. Well, it sounds like some good news, Daryl. Thanks for catching up with us. You bet.